What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today is a long distance range test on the 2024 Wired Freedom. I'll be taking the bike out with 15 pounds of air pressure in both of the tires. The battery is fully charged until the light turned off on the charger and went green, I should say, from red to green. And we are going to be doing mostly flat trails, but I'm not going to try to avoid any hills or do any special riding. I want this to be a realistic best case scenario if you haven't seen my worst case scenario video where i go as fast as possible be sure to check that out this video is going to determine how far can you go on this 2024 wired freedom at six foot three 225 pounds and i'm going to remain in pedal assist one so we start out with about 67 volts it was at 67.0 but the battery has rested a little bit i have not pedaled it or done anything to it yet i am going to reset the trip meter and to do that you just press up and down at the same time and that will reset that trip meter you see a flash just press in the middle and you will reset your mileage to zero all right and we're off put this up to pedal assist one so watching the voltage we can see it drop down to 65.9 so we're losing about one volt staying at pedal assist one the power output is about 263 watts right now We've already gone two tenths of a mile. And it's only been about one minute. We do have an elapsed time right there. T-I-M is time. I gotta say, I'm not as comfortable riding along the road here when I'm going only 17 miles an hour. It's definitely a lot better uh, when you're able to go 30, 35 miles an hour next to traffic. It just feels safer. I do hear a little bit of creaking coming from my crank set uh, that might need to just be tightened i'll have to take a look at that it's not a lot it's not all the time but i am hearing just a tiny bit of creaking there if you haven't checked out my video that i just recently posted uh, be sure to look at that i did a video about the Folsom trenches it's pretty interesting it's a historical site here in Folsom where miners people looking for gold came out here a long time ago and almost 200 years ago and dug trenches to get water from one area to another pretty interesting stuff all right pedal assist one 2.4 miles starting on the bike path so we should be able to stay on a lot of the bike path throughout most of this so if you look to the left here, you'll see Folsom Prison. That's the old dam right there. Go ahead and pull over and get a shot real quick. So if you look, try and get the camera through the fence here. That's Folsom Prison over up on the hill. This is the American River here. And that's the old dam where you see that block wall building type thing over there. That's the old dam. So that's where the water used to be blocked off. And this all used to be underwater at one point, but they since moved it. And now the dam is over closer to the lake. Okay, still in pedal assist one, motor temperature sensors at 96 degrees, 65.2 volts, still all four bars. We've gone three miles and it's taken us about 13 minutes so far. interesting right here I want to come back real quick and show you guys this almost looks like an old castle or something I wonder what this is let's take a look without wasting too much time here we're at 16 minutes doesn't say anything interesting look how cool this is it's like a i don't know old foundation or old building of some sort that was you can see on one side it looks like there's an entryway with some openings for possibly windows really cool i want to show you the edge of this right here check that out Pretty cool. 
All right, we're back on the bike. So I'm gonna turn this into a really fun ride for me because it's such a long and grueling ride that I really wanna to try to enjoy it as much as possible. Uh, I know it's gonna be three, maybe four hours long, so I'm gonna be taking short breaks every once in a while when I see something cool and try to film it for you guys. And don't forget to hit that like button. I really appreciate it. It helps out the channel a lot. It takes a lot of my time. I only do this for fun, but I really appreciate any help that you guys can give as far as keeping the channel going and uh, keeping me motivated because I really appreciate all the comments. Uh, I'm going to turn the pedal assist off here since we're going about 20 miles an hour downhill. So we have a 5% grade downhill for a while. So I'll put that in the top gear, the fastest gear and uh, put that into zero. So a question for you guys, what do you call the big gear and the small gear on the rear uh, cassette of the bike? Do you call it the big gear, the small gear, the number one gear, the number seven gear, the easy gear or the hard gear? Or the fast gear or the slow gear? <laughs> I feel like there's so many different terms for those gears and it's hard to explain which one it is. I'd say the big gear and the small gear is probably the most accurate because it lets people actually know you know what you're talking about specifically as far as what size yeah i need to check those cranks they're making a little bit of clicking which i've heard on my other bikes before when you start to put all your weight on them side to side and they they kind of loosen a little bit and you have to tighten them back up so i'm gonna have to double check that might be a future video on uh, fixing that noise and diagnosing the issue let me know if you have a 2024 Wired Freedom, uh, if you've had any issues with your bike and what has gone wrong with it or what has gone right, what are your favorite things, what are your least favorite things. I'd appreciate the feedback. Let's hit this little dirt. Yeah. All right, update. Five miles, 22 minutes. Motor temperature is at 104 degrees. We're at 65.3 volts. Have not lost a bar yet. So this is gonna take some time. We're 22 minutes in and we've only lost about two volts. Look how beautiful that is, folks. <laughs> Look at how beautiful. This is so unbelievable. Okay, we made it to the Nimbus Dam. It's a really cool area. There's a salmon hatchery over there. And they do hydroelectric here as well. Not sure if you can hear it, but Big generators down here working. There's some of the vent stacks right there. And then this is where the water comes out. Flows a little further downstream. All right, let's get back on the bike. 10.4 miles, 45 minutes total elapsed time. Again, that timer is gonna keep going. I don't believe that that timer stops. When you stop, it just, it's an elapsed time. If you turn the bike off, it stops counting time. But I believe that's just a total up time that you have the screen on. I believe. If anybody knows if that's different, leave a comment down below in the comments. So we're gonna go up along this bridge here and then go down and we're gonna continue on along this path all the way to Sacramento. And this is the American River. Again, it goes all the way down to Sacramento and then meets at the confluence with the Sacramento River downtown. Beautiful, absolutely. I mean, this is my favorite part about riding bikes, seeing cool stuff and doing, you know, adventure rides and things like that. If exercise is your thing, that's great. Uh, for me, it's really more about the ride, the experience. So I believe that's the hatchery over there where it's covered to keep the birds out and whatnot. And they, they flow water through there 
fresh water and then dump some of it back down. I don't know if you can see that canal that comes out right there. They dump some water. So it goes up that way into the system and then it comes back down out into the river. guys do you see the fish I kind of scared them away do you see that so this is water flowing down let me get off my bike here flowing back down to the nimbus area and the fish are swimming up it i don't know if you can see the fish there to kind of mimic going up a river Let's see if i can get a video of this fish here do you see him We're at 11 miles, 51 minutes in to this ride. Hope you stay with me till the very end. Still have all four bars. We're at 64 volts. I feel like the battery's never gonna go all the way down. <laughs> I'm sure it will. I'm assuming at least another 20 miles before we turn around at the halfway point. I'm assuming 30 miles would be the halfway and then 30 miles back. It's a long ride, folks. I, you know, have you, what's the longest ride you've ever ridden on a bike before, e-bike or regular bike? Leave it down in the comments below. Some people fishing. I'd say we're at least 10 or 15 miles away from downtown still, but we're getting there. I decided to put my seat up a little bit. Legs are getting a little tired. I hope I don't regret this ridiculously long ride tomorrow. I know we're going to hit 60 miles. We're probably going to hit, we might hit close to 80 miles at this point. I have not used pedal assist two or three yet this entire time. It's all been pedal assist one. So. We might hit that 80, 80 mile range. It is possible. I don't know who rides for this long in pedal assist one, but uh, I'm out here doing it and it seems like it's gonna work. Got a baseball game going over here. It's absolutely beautiful people. I mean, look at this. I can't ask for a more perfect day. The conditions are amazing. It's 69 degrees right now, my favorite temperature absolutely beautiful wide open spaces fields where they're growing different vegetables the grass everywhere from all the rain recently it's just absolutely gorgeous so we're at 63.5 volts under load and again 19 miles traveled so far have not lost a bar yet not one bar guys check out the deer guys three deer just eating doing their thing so cool all right we're at kind of another cool spot we're going to be going over a bridge here Quick time check, 4.23. So there's the American River, we're kind of crossing over now. So we've been on 
the south south side of the river the whole time pretty much and now we're crossing over we're going to be on the north side of the river to some extent kind of curves so I guess it's also the west side but we're headed west to Sacramento from the east basically going from Tahoe we're going basically from Tahoe towards Sacramento guys on a rad rover pretty cool it's really beautiful if you live in the Sacramento area and you want to ride together hit me up I have an Instagram it's solar Suron, just like the YouTube name uh, send me a message there if you want to meet up and ride sometime. All right, folks, another quick update. It's about 68 degrees. We're at 23 and a half miles. We're about an hour and 40 minutes into the ride. We're at 62 volts, down from 67 volts when we started. We're about to lose the sun behind the clouds here shortly. I think we still have about an hour and a half of sunlight left. I tell you what, at this point, we have not lost a bar yet. <laughs> and uh, my butt is starting to really hurt in this seat. Now, you can obviously get a better seat, like a cloud seat or whatnot, and make this a little better. But again, I can't imagine wanting to ride your bike for more than a couple hours. You know, I have to ride all the way back home. I haven't turned around yet. I'm probably, well, I'm 23 and a half miles away from my house. So I don't have a choice. I got to ride back. But, uh, you know... I think you're going to wear your butt out in Pedal Assist 1 quicker than you will the battery. Uh, so the sweet spot probably is Pedal Assist 3. I think that'll give you enough speed and power to get where you need to go. And you'll still have enough range to do that. Unless you're looking to go more than 40 miles at a time and you want to ride for longer than 4 hours at a time, you really don't need to do this Pedal Assist 1. Uh, in my opinion, it's kind of overboard. Unless you're trying to do some weird long journey. You know, uh, I can't imagine people wanting to do this very much. We just finally went under 62 volts. We're at 61.9 on the screen there. Um, I feel like we're going to lose our first bar here soon. There's the river right there. It's starting to get kind of spooky with the clouds and the sun going down and the trees, the dead trees. All right, so we rode all the way from the lake all the way down. We're right here right now, currently. We're going to go all the rest of the way to Discovery Park downtown. So this is all basically downtown right here. And then I'll probably ride around a little bit and start heading back. Yeah. All right, so we're at 66 degrees out here. 61.3 volts. 26.8 miles, almost 27 miles. We're basically downtown Sacramento now. Check out this cool bridge right here. Cool suspension bridge. We have not lost a bar yet. We're still four out of four bars, people. 27 miles. I mean, if you extrapolate that out. <laughs> check that out. If you extrapolate that out, that means we're going to go 100 miles plus on this battery. That's insane range. That's more than I was not expecting this. I was expecting 60 70 maybe 80 miles of range i was expecting to also have to use pedal assist two or three once in a while i have not it's been all pedal assist one the whole entire time we're at 60.3 volts under load and like i said we are now coming up on downtown sacramento the sun is going to be going down here shortly check out this cool bridge though sun is going to be going down shortly there's downtown sacramento off in the distance if you guys can see that i'm not sure if you can through the fence or not the river so we've gotten to where the sacramento and the american river sort of almost come together and like i said we're at th about to hit 33 miles it's 62 degrees temperature starting to drop have not lost a bar yet now I'm assuming we're going to lose a bar here soon, but 
Like I said, we still haven't lost one yet, so I don't know what's up with that. Check out this homeless encampment. Definitely not where I want to be riding through. Check this out. Welcome to downtown Sacramento. Hoarded up buildings and shops here. Burned out buildings over there. Oh man, look at this BS here. Definitely not where I want to be. Very different from that American River Trail. Like night and day, no pun intended. Dang, check this out. Oh, watch your head on the fence there. All right, we made it to downtown. Cannot believe that I haven't even used one bar of battery 33.7 miles at this point boy it really smells like a city down here totally different it smells like cars and food and some sort of green smoke smell and uh all, all different types of stuff going on Here's kind of all the buildings of downtown Sacramento. So Mike's bikes. Here we get this homeless encampment right on the sidewalk. Wow. I'm not gonna go through all that bullshit. Absolutely disgusting. Look at this. This is downtown Sacramento, guys. Leave a comment if you guys live in a city and what your cities look like since COVID. I know that everywhere is kind of taking a turn. I used to live downtown San Diego and uh, a lot of people go, oh, San Diego, oh my God, it's beautiful. Well, yeah, but downtown San Diego looks a lot like downtown Sacramento and a lot like downtown LA. Maybe not quite as bad, but it ain't what it used to be, folks. It ain't what it used to be. I don't know if it ever will, again or not not sure but man is it getting disgusting so there's sacramento theater company the main stage right there pretty cool so i'm just gonna head back and start making the trek towards home because we have another two and a half hours of riding to get home and by then I'm assuming we'll have maybe one or two bars missing which is absolutely insane I, I just can't believe we haven't lost one bar yet it blows my mind I'm gonna turn my headlight on because it's starting to get a little dark and that may or may not affect the voltage a little bit but uh, make this light real quick before it changes but um, I, I just oh there it was. I saw the one bar go down. I don't know if that's because I turned the lights on or not, but we're, we finally lost. Let's turn that light down so it's not shining in anybody's eyes. We finally just lost one bar, guys. There it is. So at 35.2 miles, we finally lost our first bar off the battery. For, it just flickered for a second. So I'm assuming, so we're at 59.6 volts under load, under a pedal assist one load. Look at this tunnel though, how it's painted. Look how crazy that is. So thanks for sticking with me folks. If you're still in the video at this part, I appreciate you being with me. Starting to get a little lonely out here. I've been on the road on my bike for two and a half hours and I thought that, you know, the battery would be dying soon, but it's not even, not even close. All right, we're headed back through the disgusting city. 
and then back out to the American River Trail. It's nice and warm downtown because of the buildings and the cars and whatnot. But along the river there, especially in the valleys, it gets a little chilly. Okay guys, I just want to give you an update. So we're at mile 42.2. We didn't get that much further and the battery bar just flashed to two bars. <laughs> Let's just say I got a little uh, anxious when I saw that happen. I knew this is the way that it would be. Hold on a second, I want to make sure I'm going the right way. I think I need to go down that bike path. Um, I knew that this is what would happen because I've done this before and I've done this with cars, electric scooters and electric bikes and everything. And the top of the battery always lasts way longer than the bottom half. Anyways, it's really dark out, so there's nothing really to see, but I wanted to give you guys that update that I saw it temporarily flash down to two bars. Now it's still at three right now, currently. Um, 62 degrees, 125 in the motor temperature, 42.7 miles total, three hours and two minutes. Um, 58 volts. Now under load when I'm pedaling, we're getting about 245 watts and that brings us down to about 57.7. So let's just hope that second, uh, I'm sorry, that third bar doesn't disappear so that we only have two bars too soon. Uh, if I can get another couple miles, I'll be happy, but I have a feeling that that last bar uh, it's going to be going away here, or I'm sorry, that second bar is going to be going away here pretty soon. Okay, guys, so I'm at 40, sorry, 57.3. And I've noticed that about 57.5 is when that third bar goes away. If I coast here a little bit, now I do have the lights on, so I don't know if that affects the voltage or not, but... Um, I would stop for a second there and it was at like 50 it's at 57.8 when I stop and it'll go temporarily back up to three bars but it's 57.9 but it's pretty much holding at two bars now okay so we're at 45 miles and we're right on the edge of three and two bars so that shows you it took till I think about 40 miles to get one bar away and it only took five more miles to get that next bar to disappear all right guys it was really dark down by the river so i decided to kind of scoot up into town a few streets over where there's some better lighting but i just saw this place i wanted you guys to check it out it's got a bunch of kind of classic cars check that out how dope is that dang Look at that Ferrari in the back there. Sick. H2 or H1. Old school H1. You got an old Porsche. Dude, check out that. I think it's a Ferrari. That black one in the back behind the old Mustang there. Or behind the old Corvette. It's like, looks like it's almost lowered or on some sick rims all tinted out. Check out this old school Ferrari right here red interior Merc check that out how sick a roadster behind it dang pretty dope that's badass all right we're gonna keep going definitely got some mud there we did a little a little bit of off-roading and got quite a bit of mud on the bike. I'm gonna have to clean this thing up, finally. It's holding together well though, so far. It's still at two bars. So we're at two bars, 64 degrees here, 48.1 miles, 57.5 volts. So be aware, your voltage is a better indicator than those bars are at where you are in your battery because i can tell you right now at 57 volts we're more than halfway through the battery right about halfway i guess pretty close uh whereas you know just eight miles ago it was telling me that we had four bars still so i don't know if it needs to be adjusted in like the software or whatever the way they set this up but 
for the voltage limits for each bar. I wonder what the battery itself says. So the battery itself says two bars too. Sometimes those have a little discrepancy. And I've noticed, ironically, the controller, the display and controller are not as accurate as the battery onboard battery meter itself as far as the, the four bars type thing. So anyways, we're gonna keep on keeping on here. Okay, so unfortunately, like I was thinking, uh, we're at 55.2 volts and we're down to one bar. So 57 miles of range. You can assume at this point that we're gonna hit about 60 miles. All right, folks, I'm on the last leg of my journey back home, back in Folsom. Not quite at my house yet, but we're at 53.7 volts, 67.3 miles. It's 60 degrees outside, and we're at five hours and five minutes total ride time. And let me tell you what, I am tired. Unfortunately, my crank has now decided to back out, so my pedal is wobbling every time I pedal it. So I'm trying not to put force on the left side crank because it's almost about to fall out. Uh, so I'm only basically using my right leg, but still getting some power out of it. I'm only a couple miles from my house. Uh, I probably have another two miles to go, I'd say. I'm hoping to get to the 70 mile mark, but this looks like it might be the end of it. I have no idea when it's gonna cut out, uh, but we are at 68.5 miles. So if you watch this whole video all the way through, put a thumbs up in the comment section after your comment to let me know that you watched the entire video. How close were you on your guess? We're at 69 miles. I think we're gonna hit 70 right before it dies. Let me know what your guess was in the comments and how close you were to this 70 mile mark for this bike. Pretty incredible. The way it was going at first, I thought that it would make it all the way to 100 or 120. I knew that the top end would last longer than the bottom end, but I didn't think it'd be this dramatic. So be aware if you're going on a long ride, you'll lose a lot of that power and a lot of that voltage at the bottom end of the motor or at the bottom end of the battery on that voltage. So just keep an eye on your voltage, but know that it will go down quicker towards the end than it does at the beginning. We're at 69.9 miles. We just hit 70 miles, seven, zero, zero, 70 miles, 52 volts while not pedaling, 51.8 while pedaling. We're still getting 175, 185, 190 watts, 50.9. We're at 71.2 miles, 50.8 volts, 71.2 miles, guys. Unbelievable. I gotta admit, that's right about where I thought. I thought somewhere between 60 and 80 miles. So, you know, it's not completely mind blowing, but at the same time, not bad, only about eight or nine miles away from what they claim. I think, I think they claim 80 miles of range on this thing. And I'm a pretty heavy guy at 225. You know, I'm not exactly light. So 50.3 volts, it's dropping really quickly. Like it went from 50.5, 50.4, 53, 50.3, and it's probably gonna drop to 50.2. I believe 50, there's 50.2. I believe 50.0 is the shutoff, but I don't know that exactly for sure. I've never seen it go to 49. So I'm gonna do one little last loop through this area here, kind of through the parking lot, uh, just to see exactly when it cuts out. Because I wanna know. And I'm sure you want to know, 50.1, 50.0, okay, 50.0, 50.0, is it going to go to 49 something? I don't know. We're going to find out right now together. 71.5 miles, guys, five hours and 30 minutes. 49.9 volts, still getting 210 watts of power. So it looks like it can go a little below that 50 
if you're doing it delicately. Now, I'm tempted to pull the throttle just to see if that kills it because I know it will, but I don't think I'm gonna push it much lower than that, guys. Maybe just a little more, one more lap here to see if I can get to 72 miles because it sounds like a good number. But honestly, 49.9 volts. That's really interesting. I didn't know it could go below 50, 49.8 volts. I mean, it's just losing voltage left and right. And I really do not like doing this to the battery. 72 miles on the dot, 50.9 volts. Now it's flashing and I can't get any power to come out of the motor. So it's completely dead now. There's nothing coming out when I pedal. So thanks for watching guys. Hit that like button, subscribe, leave a comment if you appreciate. I'm trying to do this with no power. If you appreciate this video, like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.